Hi, my name is Jason and I'm the developer of FireJumpers Pro. In this video tutorial, I'd like to go into more detail with the air tanker unit and its properties. So let's add a couple of air tankers and we're going to show the differences between the two. So we've got a standard air tanker here with 3,000 gallon ca water capacity, has a water output speed of 500 gallons per second, which is how much water it drops and you've got the water input speed at 200 gallons per second. This is when they're skimming over the water to fill up again. Down here we're going to add also the Martin Mars and this one has a water capacity of 7100 gallons. It has a water output speed of 1000 gallons per second, so twice as much water is being dropped uh, than the standard air tanker. And then we have the water input speed also at 200 gallons per second, which is the same as the other one. So if we add a couple of these units here, we're going to add this one and the standard air tanker. And to show the differences, we're going to create two small fires here. We're going to grab this one and we're going to grab this one here. Okay, so if we bring this one here, you're going to notice its drop zone compared to the Martin Mars. Now you'll notice here that the Martin Mars has more circles because it drops more water, but also the line thickness of these circles also shows or represents the uh, water output speed uh, when dropping. And so you'll notice that this guy is going to be able to drop a lot more water per second than this guy. Also, it also shows here the differences between their pump zones here is that the Martin Mars requires a much longer path because it has a much larger water capacity than the standard air tanker. Um, and let's see here. Now we can also add, let's say, the DC-10. Now the DC-10, it can either drop retardant or water, and you can switch in between the two. So we can drop the water here and you'll notice that this guy's water capacity drop zone is much thicker even than the Martin Mars if we bring this guy. Let's see, it's kind of one over the other, but you can see the differences in the circle zone here for the drop zone. And so that is the differences with the different air tankers, and I hope this was informative. Thank you.